Before we start today's episode, I just want to tell you that I don't completely agree with CJ's choice of clothes for today. I mean, of course, uh, the, the t-shirt is nice with a nice Uzi on it, but the pants, man, the pants, they're just so plain looking. And I like clothes with colors, you know, blue, green, yellow, purple, orange, colors, just colors. Uh, but CJ, uh, CJ's pants are colorless, so to speak. In any case... Uh, we will uh, take Michelle's car, not Michelle, Denise's car, or maybe we will kill a drug dealer. Uh-oh. Our hood is under attack. Okay. Ex-girlfriend, we need your help. We need your support by giving us your vehicle. And it seems that the Vargos are attacking. Uh, let's see, where is it? Luckily we have full armor, full health. So there shouldn't be any problems. Ah, okay, I see it now. Oh, right in a hurry. And we have arrived. This is the train station where we have did that, where we have done that uh, insane mission in the first season when we jumped on the train. <laughs> I like how that guy is just cool. Okay, now he's he's afraid. But he was so cool. He was just walking around and didn't have a, a care in the world, seeing me knife down that uh, drug dealer. Um, Which way? It's gonna be a fight here next to the houses where people have uh, their clothes out to dry. Okay, they're running away scared. But there are two guys somewhere around here. Oh! Okay, the area remains ours. Um, I take that paper. Just gonna take some ammo. I'm not gonna take the... Um, uh, the shotgun ammo, because I don't really... I don't really like the shotgun. Ooh, this is an interesting car. Looks like the Batmobile, a bit. What is it? Remington. We can export this at the Easter Basin docks. Well, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to the CJ icon on the minimap. While also running over some ballers. And we're going to do another mission. This is a pretty interesting car, I have to say. Ooh. So we're going to Mad Dog's crib. And people driving backwards again. And we're almost there. Just have to make a right over here. Ooh. Too much of a right. Look, they busted our door. But yes, the lovely Vinewood sign. And let's go this way now take the long cut because uh, we can then get straight to the point where the mission starts by going this way and there's our house up there in the hill uh oh ah, screw you. oh no well no problem lady you should run because this car is about to explode oh she's getting back into the car and <laughs> Told ya. Run, lady. Oh, And with the shovel, too. What is that woman doing with the shovel inside her car? That's what I want to know. Anyway. Here we are at Mad Dog's crib. And... Hmm. Chopper. Well, perhaps we will get to use it. And here we go. Put our weapons away, and go. Hey, be quiet, be quiet. 
Come on, you bunch of wankers. This is unbearable. Oh, shut up. Hey, you Officers Eddie Palatsky and Frank Tenpenny, both hardworking members of community policing unit, have been charged with racketeering, corruption, narcotics, and sexual assault. They brought it on themselves. That bastard cost me my farm. Any hard to draw. Fellow officer Ralph Pendleberry, who had threatened to turn state's evidence, and who was then found shot dead in a supposedly unrelated gang incident. Close I say 20 years. Airport. Try five years. Trial, Cops always get off easy. Yeah, I heard that. Lost evidence, retracted witness statements, and now the disappearance of fellow officer Jimmy Hernandez and officer Pulaski himself, believed to be on the run. Oh, wait. That bastard Pulaski will probably just turn up listen, dead listen. just like the rest of them. In light of the lack of evidence against my client, the district attorney's office has seen fit to drop all charges what? against this innocent man. That's bullshit. You see? You can't trust the system, man. This surprise decision is wholly unprecedented. Oh, man, ain't Absolutely no justice. Amazing. It's just I know. Uh, I've been arrested numerous times for totally natural behavior. Los Santos will burn tonight. Ain't nobody gonna be right in my hood. I don't know about that, Holmes. Look, the whole city is going up. Oh, People are fucking go. pissed off about Damn. this. People don't know what they want. We all being you. You see, man, it's always the same, friend. Power systems corrupt everyone. Look, I said we gonna secure the hood. We ain't getting shit together so some idiot can burn it down. Shit's real fucked up, man. Yeah, but we gonna handle this ourselves. Drive back to Grove Street. Wait a second, I have a I have a better idea. Get in, nigga. No, I wanted to use the chopper. Oh man. Well, let's go. It's evening, and apparently there's a riot on the street. There ain't no justice, man. How does stuff like Ten Penny stay on the streets? Man, I don't know. Just the way shit's stacked, I guess. Man, this is fucked up. We should take that bastard down ourselves. And we will, sweet. Yes, we will. Hopefully. So who's the weird brick? What? Oh, Macker. He got a little problem he can't control. What kind of problem? He can't stop, you know, giving himself a little bit. What, you mean he likes to consult Professor Hans Jerkoff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, regular. Spank the monkey? <laughs> yeah. Take Popula out? Quit it. <laughs> Enough, man. Ah, uh, yes. Whoa, 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 what's happening? It's a riot! Oh, indeed, people are rioting. And the cop is doing nothing. His bike is starting to smoke, look. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, indeed. See, there are riots all over. Oh man, run! Let's check it out. Whoa! This guy keeps trying to punch our car. Look! There's a dude with a TV! Oh man. Shit, look at this place. Even old ladies robbing shit. I guess it's better than staying home and watching the shopping channel. Yeah, go out there and get yourself a bargain. Look, there's smoke coming out of out of the pavement and out of buildings. People leaving their Shit. cars. People real mad. Ten penny responsible for all of this. As if the ghetto ain't wrecked enough. Come tomorrow, most the central's gonna have new TV. Look at them like angry kids or some shit. They just tearing up their own neighborhood. Nothing good is gonna come of this. Even the drug dealers are stealing TVs. Oh man. Ah. Put your foot down. Man, the ghetto's tearing itself apart. Indeed. Indeed, sweet. I'm gonna gather up some homies and get the hood locked down. You need anything, give me a call. I'm gonna check out the city and see what I can see. You be careful out there, CJ. You know I will. Yeah, there's smoke. Look at that. Smoke coming out of everywhere. There's the the firefighter truck. And people are shooting at us. 
from somewhere. Let's take a look around. You know what? Since there's a riot going on everywhere, well, we might as well do some rioting of ourselves. Get out, CJ. <sighs> Crap. Ballers. Was that a... Yeah, a graffiti. Hmm, we should get some... Uh, a can of uh, spray and... Uh, use it on the graffitis. Since we're back in the city now. Oh, man. This is chaos. Absolute chaos. <laughs> it's lovely, I have to admit. Um... Let me try to do something. Let's try to snipe those ballers and see if we can start a gang war from over here. Yes! The police chopper is... is trying to... take control of the situation, but it fails to do so in every single way. Okay. Let's try to uh, blow up that car. There we go. Who's shooting? Ah. We might as well participate in this event, you know. Because who knows when... Uh, a riot is going to uh, be happening uh, on the street. Hey, I appreciate the opportunity. Whoa. Recoil. Gotta get some bullets. Hey, if you don't need it no more. And some armor, why not? Ah, uh, no, just a regular. Ah! <laughs> Bullets everywhere in my face! Hmm. Alright. Let's go and get that AK-47. Well, the bullets from it. Hmm. Oh, we're being surrounded here. I wish I had some grenades, some proper grenades, not these... Uh, lame grenades that we have. Oh, what a merry gang of people. Look, an emergency door. Another one. Yeah, from the ambulance. Oh, I wanted to pick up the ammo. So yes, the riots are continuing on the streets. As drug dealers are trying to kill my homies. Look, 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 look. Even the police car and the firefighter truck are going to blow up, is going to blow up. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Is it gonna blow up? Yes, it is. Soon enough. Soon enough, guys. There we go. So let's get back to uh, our home and kill that drug dealer who was trying to steal a TV. Don't spray me! <laughs> Even though a nice bath is welcome. Look, the ladies, it's a cat fight, guys. It's a cat fight. Between prostitutes. Who do you want to win? Oh man, your accuracy is... is it sucks. Completely sucks. Well, let's just get back home. Because it's late. And don't stand there, woman. What was that woman thinking getting back in the car? 
You gonna back down soon? Stab him, CJ, just like that, in the kidneys. Okay, let's run. <laughs> this is no time to stay on the streets, especially when we are not doing... Uh, uh, when we are not uh, doing gang wars. If we were to do gang wars, then it would be okay, but... Yes, the uh, policemen are quietly walking around. Hmm. Tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, we should go to the ten green bottles. Well, you want some too, huh? <laughs> oh man, I just love this riot. Everybody is fighting everybody. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's down. Whew. Well, we have survived. This is just the first night of rioting. Who knows how many nights there are going to be. But you know what? I thought we killed Officer Pulaski, so how is he back with uh, Officer Tenpenny? That I don't know. In any case, uh, yeah, let's just go in. <laughs> there was a woman following us inside. Uh, well, good night, guys. <laughs>